So when you divide by a fraction, guys, fortunately there's a simple way to remember you can turn it into a multiplication problem. Basically, we'll be doing what we've been doing, which is multiplying fractions. Well, this is the way I was taught. Actually, we'll go over the rule in a second, but for now, notice three things happen. The division, the division sign changed to multiplication sign. The first thing stays the same. Yeah, and the fraction that you're dividing by ends up flipping. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yes, we do use it a lot in algebra one. Okay, so let's talk about uh, a little bit about why that is. I'm not going to spend too much time on the why. You guys seem to be more focused on what to do. But for example, let's just say we set we have four divided by half. Now, the easiest way to think about that, I'll get to you in a second, is if you had, let's say you had a container and it held four cups. The question is, how many half cups could you fit into that container that held four cups? Yes, eight, eight right. Because if you did two half cups, that'd be one cup, right? If you did that four times, that'd fill up the container that had four cups in it. So the answer is eight. Right? But but notice, and I know you guys don't love the number line, but notice that basically all you're doing is you're taking half and you're multiplying it eight times to get to that four, which just happens to just be eight halves. So if you talk about the original example of the four cups, well, four cups is just eight halves. So that's why it fits into it eight, eight times. Yeah, actually, it's funny. You can take any whole number and write it as a fraction. You could take 12 and write it as 36 over 3, right? So it would be 36 thirds, so on and so forth. How about 2 divided by 3 fourths? That one doesn't come out evenly, right? 3 fourths doesn't evenly go into 2. If you tried to add 3 fourths cups twice, that'd be 6 fourths. Yeah. Uh, close. You would multiply the 2 and the 4, but you'd divide by the 3. If we look at the number line of that one, 2 can be written as 8 fourths, right? 8 fourths is the same as 2. So how many times does 3 fourths fit into that? Well, it's just 8 thirds, actually. You actually just look at the numerators. Okay, so it would be 8 over 3 would be your final answer. But what we're actually getting at is, is a rule. And the rule is... Uh, let's see, yeah, this is, let's go back up here. I'm not going to do all the algebra here, but if you start with A divided by B over C, all you have to do is flip the B over C to make it C over B and change that to multiply. If you want to, if you're good with words and you use words to memorize things, the rule is keep, change, flip. You keep the first number, which is an integer, you change the division and multiplication, and you flip the, the fraction you're dividing by. That's the shortcut. So now that we know the shortcut, let's see if we can do example one. Ten divided by two-thirds. So remember, the first word is keep. So that means the ten stays the same. Change. So what does this become? Multiply and flip. So what does that become? Okay, three over two. So it will look like this. So step one, if you want to write it down, if it helps you, multiply by the reciprocal. Again, notice the 10 does not change. Now, see, this is kind of why this is almost review, because once you do step one, we've already learned how to multiply an integer by a fraction. So let me ask you guys, do you multiply the 10 by the 2 or the 10 by the 3? Yeah, by the 3, the number on top. Okay, so you get 10 times 3 over 2, and yes, you can cancel that. That would become 5, right? 5 times 3 is 15. But if you do it the long way, 10 times 3 is 30 on the top. 30 times 30 divided by 2 is 15. So the final answer is 15. So 2 thirds cups times 15 would give you 10 cups. Yes. I will absolutely go down. 
I like to use the cup example because it makes sense to me. I've done a little cooking in my life, not too much. But if you had two-thirds cups and you poured that into a container 15 times, you'd end up with the original numerator. You'd have 10 cups. You got that copied? Okay. Number two, 5 divided by 7 fourths. Now, this is a simple one, guys. All, all I want you guys to do is figure out what goes in that box. 5 divided by 7 fourths is the same as 5 times what? 4 what? 4 over 7. Right, so you're just flipping it. So that's more or less just testing you on the rule. Again, it's keep. Whoops. Keep. Keep the 5, right? Change. Change the division and multiplication. And then flip. Flip the fraction. Right, if you wanted to simplify it, it'd be 20 over 7. But we're actually not going to do that for this example. Okay, how about this one? Let's do a negative. Let's do say we have negative uh, 26 divided by 91 over 2. Actually, I'm going to write this one a little bit differently because we haven't done different notation. You're going to see it on your worksheet. Um, you can do division like this, and it means the same thing. Right? Just slashes, but we're still taking a fraction. We're still taking a whole number or an integer and dividing by a fraction. So if you see that and it helps you to rewrite it, you can go ahead and rewrite it as negative 26 divided by 91 over 2. Certainly it's the same thing. Okay, so we're going to do keep, change, flip, keep the first, change the multiplication to, sorry, division to multiplication and flip the fraction. So it becomes 2 over 91. Yeah, it would be, but there is a shortcut here. You can cross, you can cross, uh, reduce. I'll go ahead and do it the long way because it, no, I don't know what that was. Uh, negative 26 times 2 is negative 52 divided by 91. Basically, guys, if, if you don't immediately see that you can cross cancel, I think you should go ahead and just multiply straight across. But, that being said, this can be reduced. What number goes into both negative 52 and 91? Not 3. 13. Okay. Negative 52 over 13 is negative 4. And 91 over 13 is 7. So your final answer is negative 4 over 7. You wouldn't think that when you saw the original problem. It looks very complicated, but it has a pretty simple answer. All right, see if you guys remember this rule. 0 divided by 2 thirds. Yeah, the answer can be zero. Okay. Yes, you can do keep, change, flip. It would be zero times three halves. But the point is, the, he noticed it's zero divided by something, which is always zero.